My name is Badur Al Qasimi. I'm the president of the International Publishers Association, and I'm also a publisher of uh, children's books, but also adult fiction, nonfiction, and many other genres. Uh, I'm here in Colombia uh, to visit the book fair. It's my first time here in Colombia. I'm looking forward to meeting many publishers and learning more about this beautiful country. ¿Qué representa ser la segunda mujer presidente de la IPA? First of all, thank you for this interview. It's really an honor to be here. And the IPA is the International Publishers Association. It's an international organization based in Geneva, and it's 125 years old. So it's a very old organization. Unfortunately, there have only been two female presidents in the past 125 years. The first president was a woman from Argentina, Ana Maria Cabanieras, and I'm the second woman president from the Arab world, specifically from the United Arab Emirates. So it's definitely an honor to be in this role, but we also have a lot of work to do to open the door for other women to come into leadership positions and to be able to have the opportunity to be president of IPA in the future. Yes, of course, the most famous is uh, Gabriel García Márquez, and he's uh, one of the most famous authors uh, in the world, uh, not only Latin America, and it's just wonderful to be able to come and visit Colombia uh, and be here uh, at the book fair, and of course, uh, he's one of my personal favorites. ¿Qué planes tiene para fomentar la lectura en esta época de la tecnología? So I believe technology is a tool and it's a very important tool and we can use it to encourage reading. Um, now when you look at kids, they're all connected, they're all uh, you know, using their devices and actually they're more tech savvy than us. Uh, so we can learn a lot from the younger generation. And I believe if we embrace technology, we can use it to our advantage to be able to promote reading through technology, through the use of uh, you know, all of the media channels, internet, social media, electronic books, audio books, and also to find creative ways to get children interested in reading. ¿Qué representa ser una de las 200 mujeres más influyentes en el mundo? Um, of course, I, I believe this is a privilege and an honor, but it's also a responsibility. You know, I feel like it's important to always give back, always remember where you came from, always remember your struggles and be there to open the door for other people. That's something I believe in personally. I always mentor young women in my work and whatever I do. I try to support as many people as possible through opportunities, advice. Um, and so I think it's always important to be humble and to remember that wherever you go. ¿Podría describirnos en una frase su último libro? Yes, uh, I've just written a children's book. It's called World Book Capital, and it's a book that was uh, published recently to celebrate Sharjah as World Book Capital uh, in 2019. And we were really honored that this book has been translated into many languages, and that's my latest book. ¿En qué parte de sus libros trata de integrar la cultura árabe? I believe children's books are an opportunity to build bridges with other cultures, to really open the eyes of children onto what's happening around the world. So um, through my, my publishing house, I publish a lot of children's books about our own culture, but I also publish about other cultures. So I want children in the Arab world to read about children in Colombia or children in Brazil or Africa or different parts of the world to learn about their customs, their traditions and their folklore. And hopefully when they grow up, they will be more understanding and more open-minded citizens of this world. And there will be more peace and love and harmony uh, in this world. And I believe that's what we need.